Hey gang, welcome back. Fun to be with you. Uh, you may have noticed something different. Get myself a haircut. I'm kidding. I'm trying something new here. Um, trying to improve my my content, to, uh, my game, I guess I'd say level up. So, so it's looking good so far. Let's see how it goes. Today we're going to talk about this mass inferno dragon attack that people are using. Right. I've seen it shared a lot, I've seen a lot of videos on it. Um, it's, it's the unstoppable mass, dra mass infernal dragon attack. Um, I would say, in my experience, unstoppable Unstoppable is not exactly like <clears throat> um, But just to, to give the lay down, I ran this attack for three days on three accounts, all Town Hall 13s. And I, I alternate attacks, right? So I did Queen Charge or for one round, and then I did the mass infernal dragons for the second round. So in all, over three days, I got 36 attacks using this, this Inferno Dragon attack strategy. And to me, you know, I'm giving myself some allowance for, you know, figuring out in the in early, early going, trying to make some mistakes as I was trying to learn the ins and outs of this attack strategy, learn the style. Um, I, I don't know. It's, it was a solid two star for me. And I probably should have kept better stats on this. Overall, I definitely got some three stars. Um, but then out of 36, probably five or six single star attacks. Again, a couple of those were just trying to sort things out, just me making mistakes and trying to learn it. Um, but I tell you, even when I got three star, it didn't feel like it was because of anything that I did. I feel like I got lucky, right? It's just like, oh, hey, great, three star. So let's give you some, a couple of replays. I'll show you what I'm, I'm looking at, what I'm talking about. And the first one up is this Meister Factory. All right, so this is a fairly typical base. We've all seen this base. I've run this base. I'm going to pause this real quick. I'll show you the basic strategy. So it's going to do some screen by the kids. Still working out the kids. All right, so anyway, the plan is uh, Coco, Coco Loon and Electro Dragon are there at six o'clock, create one side of the funnel, and then King and Queen, three o'clock, create the other side of the funnel, and it's just a row of loons across the six to three line, followed up by those Inferno Dragons. Let them go to work, and then I was going to send my blimp to get the town hall. And I'll tell you, the bases I struggle on are this style of base, where the town hall is the reach, right? It's pretty far to get there. It's a long way for the, the blimp to travel. And that's a lot of opportunity for the blimp to pick up some of those uh, seeking air mines, right? The little black mines that'll just drop that blimp pretty, pretty fast. Oh, and one drawback of this is that you need the spells toward the end, right? So I'm saving my spells because I want to make sure that I can get the town hall. So I'm not really using them. You know, and the idea is you're using these, it's a lot of skeleton spells. You probably know seven skeleton spells. The idea is that those skeleton spells drop those tank scatter shots, really to distract the infernal, the uh, scatter shots so that scatters don't knock out those infernal drags. Um, so here, Blimp's taking a lot of damage from the, the single target Inferno, and then she gets pushed to the side right at the end, launches everything right there, short of the Town Hall, nothing gets to the Town Hall, and I'm, I'm just, you know, panic mode here, hoping for the best, and there's, there's nothing I can do at that point. Um, Royal Champion's still there, but single target got her, and I never even took out Clan Castle. You see a couple of Super Wizards in Clan Castle, they got me. So that was a one-star fail, a hard fail. Opinion. I'm never happy with a one star, you know, so I'm not really happy with a two star attack. So, this one with the lone man, I would say this is more typical of my experience with this, this attack strategy. Right, you've got this town hall here at six o'clock, and this is one with those, you know, the offset town halls. So, you can just try to rush into the town hall, you can queen, queen, maybe slammer, you take down the town hall. Um, I, I went ahead and did the the long travel with the blimp again. So King and Queen 12 o'clock, Electro Dragon with the moon down the three o'clock. And I'm just gonna do the 
through the balloons and the Eternal Dragons right across that, that 12 to 3 line. And it's, a, you know, it's spammy. It's just, you just drop them. Yeah, you know, I'm letting them go to work. Balloons are there to protect the Eternal Dragons. You got the skeleton spells to also to protect. And they're protecting you by distracting. Because the, the skeletons from those those skelly spells are not they're not gonna do a lot of damage themselves, but they're they're going to slow down the defenses. They're gonna redirect those defenses away from the infernal dragons so that the infernal dragons can do their thing. So yeah. got them going, doing work in there in the middle, and here comes the blimp. Uh blimp's doing doing well at this point. So it's going to get to the town hall, and once it gets to the town hall with the rage, I'm running an infernal dragon and a bunch of loons in there. That'll get the town hall down. I uh, got the royal champion coming in here for about three, four o'clock, and she's gonna, you know, she's gonna do some good cleanup. But just, again, no way I'm going to three star this base, uh, not with what's left there. So this ended up ends up being was that like a ninety two percent, I think two percent three star. You know, so not not bad thirty trophies, but it just again, I just never really felt like I was going to get three stars and and it, when I, when I did it felt like an accident and I, that's not a comfortable place for me to be I uh, you know like with the queen charge hybrid I go in I, I know I've got a I've got a good chance of beating three star just just do right I know it's not going to happen every time because I'm just not that good I'm like I said in the beginning I'm a decent player but I'm not a great player by any means but I am confident enough with the queen charge hybrid that I, I I do feel like I can get three stars on any base at any given moment. Always a little bit of luck involved, but I have that confidence. Whereas with this attack, with the Infernal Dragon masked up, I just never developed that, that comfort level with it. So here's Snake Eyes. <laughs> just a couple more examples. Um, part of it, I think, is like I kept seeing these same big boxy style bases. And, that, you know, the, the videos I watched, hyping up the strategy you know what they said was like hey it's good for these big big bases things are spread out because those are dragons a chance to work so i was like ah well okay let's see um not my experience again so king and queen clearing the nine o'clock electro dragon up there at, at 12 o'clock sent them all in i was a little bit late on the free spell over here at by 12 o'clock that air defense was doing a lot of damage on my dragons there Sam, that's no good. But still able to get two stars out of this. Because again, using that using the blimp is a, a long travel and it was able to get there. I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit because it's kind of boring, honestly. But the blimp gets there, picks up a mine at the end, but I used the between the freeze and the rage, I was able to get the town hall down. Um again. I would say that was that's my typical experience with this attack. I, I can count on it for two stars, but not really much beyond that. All right, I got one more replay for you, just to give you a full sense of of how this is the strategy for me. All right, another two star. The town hall is a little bit in, a little bit because you got the one compartment around it, so it's, it's sort of more to the center. Um, you got the the air sweeper facing. You know, one goes blowing stuff off of the town hall, one blowing stuff off the middle. Um, that's it is a tough setup, so that's why I set my king and queen at six o'clock because of the the air sweeper that was pushing back against them. Um, I ended up basically sacrificing the single target locked onto it. Just toast at that point. But got everything down. All right, I'll start, start dropping the skeleton spells here to distract. Trying to do, distract that single target up there. Um, I probably should use it on that scatter shot there where all the, my cluster of internal dragons is. But they, they managed okay. Now you have the warden ability to protect them there. So. We're going, I'm going to drop the blimp here. It, the blimp makes it. I still, at this point, I have a lot of spells left. I got the freeze, I got the rage, I got the skeletons. 